Today marks the first day of the next phase of a journey, um, a journey that's going to make Huntsville home for some of the most exciting technology that GE Aviation is developing and deploying in a, a new generation of products. These products will offer our customers uh, greater cost efficiencies while being more environmentally friendly. And we're looking at, at spearheading that activity here within the Huntsville community, and we're very proud of all the support that the Huntsville team, the Limestone County team, the Madison team, and the state of Alabama has provided us to this point on the journey as we, uh, as we look forward with developing this capability, which is novel to the industry uh, and novel to the U U.S., while we're helping to strengthen the economy of Huntsville, bringing uh, high-paying jobs to the region as part of furthering what's already a successful story from many of the people that are in this room today have brought to, uh, brought to fruition. Um, with that, I'm sure you'd like to hear from, uh, from our uh, gathered guests today. So at this point in time, it's my honor to introduce Governor Robert Bentley to share a few remarks on our mission. You know, uh, I come here very often. Uh, the reason I come here very often is because all of you do such a fantastic job. Uh, all the elected officials, all the, uh, the, ch the chamber, all of the economic developers, uh, you do a great job in this part of the state uh, in enticing industry to come into this area uh, and, and the fantastic companies that are here today. Uh, one of the companies uh, that are, that's here, uh, of course, is GV, GE Aviation. Uh, GE, GE Aviation uh, is, is a growing company uh, worldwide, but they're certainly growing here in Alabama, uh, and we're certainly glad to have them. Uh, you know, when we uh, look at some of this uh, new modern technology, as I cross the state, uh, one of the things that I enjoy doing as governor is to see all the fantastic things that are produced in the state of Alabama and to see the, uh, the new innovations that are taking place. Uh, and what we see here is, is using this uh, silicon carbide to really make it into a uh, composite fiber, uh, which is stronger than any metal, withstands more heat than any metal, and lighter than any metal. And so those three things are, are fantastic factors in, in the aviation industry and in uh, other types of uh, gas burning engines. And, and so all types of things can use this. This is, this is the, maybe the future uh, for many of these uh, industries that we're looking at today. You know, uh, one of the things that, uh, that I have stressed the most since I've been governor uh, is to uh, try to produce jobs for the state. Uh, it's a cooperative effort. It's not just on the state level. It has to start on the local level. Uh, and certainly to entice uh, good industries and to uh, recruit them to come into Alabama, uh, to provide a good steady workforce uh, that's well trained and we've really worked hard on that uh, since I've been governor. We're making good progress on that and, and we, we would like to say that Alabama uh, has the best uh, ability to train workers of any state in the country. Uh, and we're getting better every day. Uh, and so I'm very proud of what we do on a state level, but I am certainly proud of what's been done on a local level. You know, uh, one of my plans that I put forth uh, in the state of the state this year was our Great State 2019 plan. Uh, this plan includes the development of small businesses. Uh, it supports our veterans. It supports uh, uh, our rural areas of the state. Uh, it addresses problems like our prison problem. Uh, and I know that has nothing to do with this, but it's just part of our overall, uh, overall program that we have for, for the state. Education is key to that, and we have put a special emphasis on pre-K education because if you don't get the right foundation, you can never remediate someone out of, of, of failure. Uh, and so you have to have a good, strong foundation from the beginning, and that's part of our program. Uh, I'd like to say that yesterday, uh, here in this area, in Limestone County, there was uh, an announcement of a 1,252-acre site, uh, TVA, and we'd like to uh, say that about TVA and thank them for what they have done for this area. Um, 
And with that certification in mind, I think that we'll be able to recruit more interested in the state, don't y'all? Yes, and so I, I, I want to tell you that I'm privileged to be with you today. Uh, I want to thank G, GE Aviation uh, for choosing Alabama, for choosing this part of the state. Uh, and we hope that uh, you continue to grow and prosper. So thank you for letting me be with you. Engine business within GE is a long cycle business, and so we appreciate the, uh, what needs to go into creating a long-term plan for the success of your business uh, to be able to remain competitive as well as doing things that are the best interest of your customer and community. Uh, and looking at, uh, looking at the forethought and the team that uh, Mayor Battle has put together with the, uh, with the planning and insight that's gone into the development of the infrastructure within, uh, within Huntsville and the plans for where he, he and his team are looking to taking, take the, uh, the city is important to businesses like GE Aviation when we look at selection of, of sites. We applaud you on your efforts and I'd like you to uh, join us at the podium. A uh, member of the Chamber of Commerce and myself went to, a, to uh, one of the presentations at Farnborough that was talking about how to do business with GE. And they were talking about the Auburn plant and how they had just opened the Auburn plant and how it was a great partnership. And I thought this would be a great, great group to be partners with in Huntsville, Alabama. Little did I know that we'd be standing here two years later and we'd be talking about being partners uh, with GE Aviation and working to make the silicon carbide materials and make a ceramic matrix composite. Now, I have worked on that for months and months. <laughs> but the special thing that's happening right there, and Dr. Korea and I have talked about it some, is that we're going to be able to make something that is very special in, right here. It has specific applications right now, and specific applications for turbines and for jet engines. But it also has some uh, some uses that will be that can go across the board with the technology that we have right here in Huntsville. Everything from unmanned aerial vehicles to uh, missiles to the idea that it may be in the aviation field or it may be on a on a NASA on the next uh, next ship we send into deep space on NASA. But we have the capability right here to use a lot of the product that is produced right here by GE Aviation and expand a market that's already here. So we want to say to GE Aviation, congratulations. Thank you for being here and thank you for being a part of Huntsville. We look forward to the partnership and we look forward to working with you. Uh, their partners are uh, Mr. Ito-san, uh, thank you so much for being here with uh, Nippon uh, Carbon, uh, who is a, the, one of the licensing partners with this. But all we have in Huntsville is partnerships. We partner with Limestone County, with Mark Yarborough and the Limestone County Commission. We partnered with our state of Alabama to make this happen. Uh, we were fortunate to partner with Madison County to make this happen. But all across North Alabama, there was a partnership that came together to make sure that this industry could locate here. We could get, they would provide jobs here. They would provide economy here. But more than that, they would become a partner in, this, in, in the North Alabama area. They would become part of us. And that is very important to us. And we're looking forward to having GE here. Uh, we're looking forward to getting the shell up. We're looking forward to getting the plant in production. And we're also looking forward to the future capabilities and prospects that we will have right here. Thank you so much. Along the, uh, along the theme of partnership, our te next two speakers represent the two counties that are directly involved in the project that we have ongoing. Uh, through their cooperative efforts, they have really created a strong region here in northern Alabama. Uh, they represent the broad voice of the community, uh, a representation that's critical to cultivating the high quality technical talent that we require for our business. And it's through, uh, it's through the, that cooperative effort that when we think about things as such as quality of life and the educational infrastructure that's required to create the talent, uh, together, both Limestone and Madison County have done a remarkable job here in, uh, here in Northern Alabama. So with that, I'd like to uh, introduce the chairman for the, uh, of the commission for the Limestone County, Mark Yarborough. I'd like to thank uh, Commissioner Jason Black and Commissioner Stanley Hill. Their efforts allow me to come up here and speak, but, but my contributions are no more than what theirs are because they allow me to do what I do. Uh, 
As y'all know, Limestone County led the state last year for the first time ever in job creation with almost $400 million worth of investment in the county and 2,600 jobs. Now, the common theme that everyone to speak of, and it's true, is teamwork, but it's also friendships developed. Tommy Bowles has been a friend of mine for the last 12 or 13 years, and I've known Dale since he's five years old. And <laughs> we literally, and, and we're good friends, and, and it's, it's fun to be able to put the egos aside and to grow a community. And that's what we're doing. You know, it takes a village, but we're growing a community. Well, what we have passes beyond county lines and city limit borders. It's about doing what's best for the people that we represent, put the people's interests ahead of our own. It starts up top with Governor Bentley. Governor Bentley's been good to us, folks. I ain't kidding you. He's been good. I told him earlier I love to see him because every time he does, <clears throat> he's bringing us jobs and industry and all that. Uh, GE Aviation, wow. You know, state of the art, one of a kind. Matt's gonna come around here and give me some golf lessons, he says, in a couple of months. Uh, John's located in Athens, Alabama on cane break, which I'm a member, and maybe he'll have me ready to go by then. Uh, welcome home to Limestone County, guys. Y'all part, uh, part of our economic family, and, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. And one thing I think you're gonna be impressed, I know you're gonna be impressed at, because we hear it from Polaris, we hear it from Shape Corporation, Asai, Kasai, Steelcase, is once we get you here, once you get started, we don't change, we're the same folks. We're gonna to continue to do the service. We're gonna to continue to do what it does to get you in, get you in production, make you profitable, so that you're gonna grow here and grow with us. So thank you, thank y'all for coming, and welcome home to Limestone County. Um, I can echo that uh, sentiment. It is a cooperative effort to doc, uh, Dr. Sanjay Korea. Uh, it's been an honor to meet you over these last, uh, this last year, and the focus that you have and the expertise in the field, I believe, makes the true match here for uh, Madison and Limestone Counties. Uh, to Mike Kaufman, I appreciate your efforts, uh, and of course, John, everything that you've done to, to see this project through. I also want to reach, reach out to uh, Senator Sessions, uh, Senator Shelby, Congressman Brooks, because without a solid foundation in Washington, D.C., representing the people of the 5th Congressional District in North Alabama, th these type projects could not occur. To my members of the Madison County Commission, I want to thank you for understanding how vital economic development is, not only to Madison County, but North Alabama, and uh, also to Southern Tennessee, because we employ so many people in Southern Tennessee, and I thank you for your commitment financially to see this project through. To our local legislative body that represents us in Montgomery, uh, it is a critical function in what you do in representing our needs, and we're showing that the return on investment uh, here in Madison and Limestone County is well worth it. To the governor of the state of Alabama that has taken over the helms of the state, understanding how vital transportation, education, and jobs are. Currently, we have more than $400 million worth of transportation projects either under construction or soon to be under construction here in our community. And without your commitment, that could not occur. We've got more than $300 million worth of education projects under construction with elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and this is what it takes to grow an economy. As I look in this crowd, I want to thank the Secretary of Commerce, Greg Canfield. He understands what it takes to grow an economy. He's been a vital part, not only for Madison County and Limestone County, but the 67 counties uh, that are proud to call Alabama home. And Greg, I want to thank you for your commitment to the people of the state of Alabama. To Mayor, ben, uh, Mayor Battle and what you've done for all of the city of Huntsville and North Alabama, we accept the challenge. It's bigger than just one city or uh, two cities. Uh, we represent practically 12 counties in North Alabama and two counties in Southern Tennessee in creating jobs. And that right there is what makes our state good, our city good, and our country good. I, I look around and I see the Chamber of Commerce. I wanna thank each of you, the staff that works day in and day out to be sure that we're sending the message to our country of what Madison County and Alabama has to offer because without your efforts, this could not happen. Shane Davis, I want to also mention you today because you're a critical part of what goes on here, understanding what it takes to put a package together and to communicate what we have to offer here in North Alabama to the rest of the country. It's an honor to serve as your chairman of the Madison County Commission, and as always end, I still believe that our best days are still ahead. Thank you. Um, Governor Bentley, thank you and the Alabama team for, for being here and for everything that you've done to get us here. And, uh, thank you, Mayor Battle, the uh, city of Huntsville, and Limestone and Madison counties. 
Um, we went through a long search, as you might imagine, and to, for all the great reasons you heard and, and more, I'm sure, and your hard work, this is, uh, this is where we are. This really is a, a terrific day. We announced the facility in Montgomery at the State House last fall, and we're here today to formally begin the uh, construction process. You know, the way I think of it is um, the dog caught the bus. We have to be successful in these efforts. Uh, the future is incredibly bright for this product family. Uh, the, the GE engines are built on an architecture of reliability, and these materials allowed us to have simple architectural concepts with very, very um, high temperature interiors that uh, allow them to deliver the uh, efficiency to our customers, which are the world's airlines. Um, these jobs, these communities are supported by customers all over the world, so it is critically important for all of you, all of us, to understand that this innovation and all of this manufacturing technology and the great skilled people that you have here, their livelihoods and their contributions, frankly, to the world are serving customers um, all around the world. And communities like this will prosper because you're building, building skill sets and factories of the future, quite, quite literally. We have two first applications, and these are just the first applications for this class of materials, which um, is displacing the most exotic metal super alloys in our next generations of engines. The first is that LEAP engine for leading edge advanced propulsion, and it's applied to Boeing and Airbus aircraft. Over 5,000 aircraft have been sold, the first of which will be entering commercial service in September. That's over 10,000 engines have been sold with these uh, materials in them. The engine was certified by both the U.S. authorities, the Federal Aviation Administration, and its European counterpart, EASA, which is a regulatory, regulatory body in Europe. The G9X engine is a considerably larger engine, about 100,000 pounds of thrust. It's if you flew on a very big jet. Um, in fact, I'll introduce soon our Japanese friends. They came on a Boeing 777 with a G90. It's the next generation. It'll enter service in about 2020. Uh, that, that engine has over 100 parts made of this material in each and every uh, one of the engines. The facility that we're here to uh, break ground for uh, will have two sides. Uh, one side will make the ceramic, the uh, silicon carbide fiber, and the other side will make the tape where the fiber will get coated and so on and so forth. It will be unique in the world. We do this operation in two places today. This is the one and only place in the world where it will all be in one place. And I frankly think that's worth a round of applause for all of you. <laughs> so we wouldn't be here without our partners, and I'd like to close by recognizing our partners. Let me start with our fiber partners in the joint venture in Japan, from which we've licensed the technology for the fiber side of this plant, uh, represented by Ito-san of Nippon, Nippon Carbon, uh, Takeda-san, who's in the audience and actually was the original inventor of this material, and their colleague, uh, Takashi Imura. The uh, Safran Company of France, the uh, U.S. Department of Defense, which has invested, will invest in the fiber side of this facility, um, and I'd also met Tom and would like to thank um, our many commercial partners in this construction. Uh, the Scanal Corporation, uh, BL Harbert, CH2M, which is the design firm here, uh, Chioda, the Japanese counterpart, the college and university system. I didn't have a chance on this uh, trip to visit with them, but I uh, was very impressed in my uh, prior visits. And uh, the many infrastructure uh, suppliers like the TVA. And of course, the, uh, the city, the counties, and the states of Alabama, I'm becoming good friends with you guys, and i um, looking forward to seeing Mayor Battle's barbecue rig, of which I've heard much and seen none. So maybe <laughs> one of these days that will be rectified. So here we are at the start of a new era in jet engine technology. John, we wish you the best. Um, Mike and I and Matt will be here with whatever it takes to make you successful. I'm sure you'll get lots of local help. Uh, and thank you again, Governor Bentley, for being here.